guys welcome to copper Angel narcissist 101 i'm kate thank you for subscribing thank you for joining me and if you haven't subscribed please do don't forget to hit the bell so you know when i upload more videos also like and share as well guys uh today is uh the narcissist the cobra narcissist needs to be petty with you they need to they need the need to be petty with you you guys know that these people look at um everything every dealing with you is a game every dealing with anybody is a game you know so and they have to win everything they have to win it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't matter how ridiculous it is is a game and they have to win that's why when you get into any kind of argument with these people uh they need to have the last word they need to have the last show they need to have the last laugh they need to have the last joke they have to be the ones that come out winning in quote because anything other than that them coming out that way is it means that they've lost and they cannot uh deal with that fact that you know they are not good or they are not better they are not as smart as you know you know you know they, they think they are you know so there's not there's really no gray areas is it that here or there there's no middle ground with these people so when you're dealing with them they have to always one-up you with anything at all it doesn't matter what it is they have to always one up you so you throw something at them they will throw three three things right back they will throw four things right back you, you know and as long as you keep you know going back and forth with them it never really stops you know so a narcissist it needs it needs is a need to be petty with you is uh you do something let's say um whatever it is you do <laughs> You do whatever they would assign uh whatever it is they think you mean uh they assign a, a dialogue of what they, they probably think you're probably saying they will assign your thought process the probably the, the way you probably were thinking now it doesn't matter if you have if in, in any of it uh you, you did any of it or not it doesn't matter that's not the point actually you probably you probably didn't do anything but they'll process all of this in that way so that way it'll justify them doing you know throwing back at you you throw one thing they throw two things at you you know let's say you know an, an narcissist that you know you're co parent with co-parenting with and and you know you're running late maybe this week you know you need to go pick up the kids and you said uh um i'm gonna be there 20 minutes late and it's you know you're supposed to pick them up at five or whatever and 5 30 or what or 5 20 you know you made it you you let them know that's that week now the the next week maybe they are supposed to pick them up now you know you guess what will happen they're not gonna only gonna be 20 minutes late they're gonna end up being maybe an hour an hour and a half late and unlike you they will not try to contact you now you see because with them you being 20 minutes late to them they they processed it as you've been three hours late, so that justifies them being an hour and a half or two hours late the following week. Now it doesn't matter that you were only twenty minutes late, but in the narcissist's mind, I need to do better than you did since this is what you're doing now because God knows you know it was planned on your own part. This is what you wanted to do. You want you want you want to show them something so they have to show you more, you know. So by the following week. The 20 minutes that you, you know, you, you were late the, the previous week to them. Now the process that has been two hours late. So this time around, they're going to go an hour, an hour and a half late or two or three, <laughs> three hours late. And they're not going to call you because to them, well, you know, that's what you did last week. So you're not going to say anything, you know, but they're not going to call you like you call them that you're running 20 minutes late. So that's, you know, that's how they're going to respond to that. Or you, uh, maybe they call the children, like, you know, the narcissist here calls the kids anytime they don't answer the phone you know anytime they do not answer the phone whenever they go visit the narcissist the narcissist will disconnect the phone every single time he'll disconnect the phone maybe you know they're there for two days or something maybe the first day you will be able to get hold of the kids at all you won't be able to get hold of the kids at all but check this out though while the narcissist is busy calling the kids why the kids are on your side and let's say you know they call them on tuesday no problem they got through whatever wednesday maybe the kids are not around or they didn't hear the phone they didn't answer the phone automatically the narcissist will process it this way to them you have intentionally 
told the kids not to answer the phone on Wednesday. Now, it doesn't matter that, you know, a week, four days before that, that they've been talking to the kids every day and there's no problem. They, you know, they get through regard, not, none of them. There was no issue, you know, but come Wednesday, somehow the phone, you know, rang, nobody answered it. Normal people would be like, I guess maybe the kids are not around. Well, I'll try again in an hour or something like that. No, the narcissist processes this. You told them not to answer the phone. You told the kids not to answer the phone. And then guess what happens? The kids go over there. They, they feel they have to retaliate. So they, they will disconnect the phone or they prevent you from talking to the children at all. Because it, you did this stuff intentionally last week. You know? So it, 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 they have to one-up you. They have to one-up you. Because if they don't do it, everything you do... Even though you try to let them know, you know, ahead of time, like in terms of picking the kids up and all that stuff, that, by the way, I'm going to, I mean, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'll be running late or whatever. No, to them, they process this as something you're trying to get over on them. And you cannot get over on them because they're smart, they are the smartest people, you know. So you think you're doing this, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you. And that's exactly what will happen is that whatever you, you do, thinking that you're being, you know, cordial, you are being, you know, civil, you know, no, they, to them, they process that as you trying to get over on me. And so the next thing they got to do is to do more. They're going to one up you on that. You know, you're 20 minutes late. They're going to be two hours late ne next week. And if you say anything, well, at that time you were late for like two and a half hours, even though <laughs> they know that you were just 20 minutes late, but they have, they, they need to do this because they have you can they, you doing this and them not retaliating in, in quotes to them is them not winning and they have to win so they ha they have this need to be petty it doesn't matter what it is it could be uh you know a, a little thing with the kids you buy kids stuff or whatever they go do it you know twice as much or three times as much or whatever you know it doesn't they have to do those things because they believe that Whatever you do, you're in competition with them. It doesn't even, you, you're probably not paying attention to them, which obviously you're not. But everything you do, a narcissist perceives that as a competition. They perceive that, oh, you're trying to show me. I'm going to one-up you on this. I'm going to do more, you know, because I'm smarter. Or you're trying to get over me. But I'm going to show you that I'm smarter than you. So there is a need for them to be petty at all times. All right, guys. Get a hold of your mind. And everything's falling into place. Please like and share. Take care.